Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading, so let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I want to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. And as a way of saying thank you, I will be doing a Q&A here on YouTube. So I'm going to post on my community section um, where you could put your um, questions. And I will answer them through a video. Alright. Through a video. Uh, with, live, uh, with card polls. Alright. So... I hope to see your questions there and I hope to hear from you. All right. Capricorn, there is a decision. I'm getting very clearly a decision that you have to make. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or you could have those placements. All right. Okay. Although there is a decision that you have to make, that's the energy that I'm picking up here. There is a very, very major, a major decision that you have to make regarding a relationship that you, that you are currently in. This is for a very particular Capricorn, all right? Um, I'm getting a fear of heartbreak. I'm getting a fear that if you decide or if you confront this person, the person that you are with, it will break your heart. But if this is something you already feel, maybe you should trust your intuition about it. That's what Spirit is telling me. Trust your intuition about it. If you feel that something is off, then that's your intuition telling you something. All right? You have the two of wands. Uh, major decision point. Um, this is for a very, very particular Capricorn. I'm getting, how can I say it? I want to say it the right way, the right words. For a very particular Capricorn, you are deciding whether or not you want to move towards a person. Whether physically, you want to relocate um, to be closer to your person. That's a very big decision to make. But I'm getting you want to ask this person first. And you're not really sure about the status of this person. You could have met online. Um, you could have met online because of this pandemic. You know, a lot of people are trying online dating. A lot of online... Um, meetups and things like that i'm not really sure how you how you uh the right term for it i don't do those things um i mean it, it's nothing wrong about that it's just not my cup of tea but you've met this person online and you know this is someone who's in another part of the world and you've been communicating a lot there's a lot of passion in the communication You've fallen very deeply for this person. Very deeply. 
now you're really thinking really really reconsidering considering whether or not you want to move towards this person you want to relocate for this person that's a big that's a big decision as i said earlier but for some reason in the last two weeks you've noticed some few changes with this person now now you're thinking that maybe this person isn't really honest with you maybe they're in a relationship maybe they have another person involved where they are living i'm getting that very clearly all right you have the sun to the queen of wands this is someone who's very passionate towards you um very attracted towards you why because of the physical they find you very beautiful very very beautiful very driven very ambitious um i'm getting someone who loves to take care of themselves themselves you're someone who loves to take care of yourself and that's very attractive when you start taking care of yourself you start to become very very attractive because you know what you deserve and people see that all right this you could be this person's light, all right? Um, I'm seeing you wanting to expand with this person. Um, I'm actually seeing you trying to stay positive with things even though you have that inkling that feeling that there's a little bit off something off with this person you're trying to stay positive this is for a very very particular capricorn i'm sorry if it doesn't resonate with you please you know check out the other videos for other signs that might resonate from there all right, you have the Eight of Wands to the Knight of Cups. All right, this is someone who actually loves you. Actually loves you. Um, if there has been a lack of communication in the last two weeks, three weeks, two to three weeks, there's going to be a lot of communication now. And this person actually wants to tell you how they feel for you and this person really really has a lot of love for you wants to offer you their cup of love There's a lot of long distance involved in this relationship you have that the five of swords to the three of wands hmm. i'm getting I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just don't like the energy. This person has a... Some sort of arrogance and selfishness. Very egotistical. That, like, they feel that you would never move on from them. I'm sorry for the energy but I mean I'm sorry for the way I say it I've said it but that's what I'm getting that's the energy that I'm picking up on this person knows that you will not explore other options this person knows that even when they ghost you and they try to come back Even when they bench you, 
they know that you will never explore other options. That's kind of arrogant. Not just kind of, that's very arrogant. I'm getting this person knows that they're very attractive and they're, you're very attracted towards them. It's kind of arrogant. Again, not just kind of, very arrogant. All right. Overall outcome. <clears throat> the overall outcome is the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and then the Tower. All right. I'm actually getting that you will get that Tower moment where you feel that, you know, it's better to move away from this person. It's better that to wait for the right person for you to wait for that right offer for you someone who's grounded someone who's you know someone grounded like you you will get that tower moment you will get that epiphany moment where you understand that this is not the person for you you're meant to be with someone else Again, this is for a very particular Capricorn. What is advice? The advice is the moon, the three of swords, and then the lovers. All right, you have a choice. Choose yourself or this person who is actually getting, I'm getting the vibes that this person is going to break your heart. They're just playing. Not because they have someone else, but they know that even if they take you for granted, you will never move away. They're confident that way. All right. Even if they focus on something else like their work, or their studies or their finances they know that you would never move away from them and then the moon I'm getting embrace your fears if you fear that this person would just move away from you you know find another relationship instantly after you then you know if that happens was there even love at all capricorn was there even love at all you have leadership purity and then opportunity all right so yeah that is all i have for you capricorn i hope something in this reading resonated if it did please do give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for supporting me here on youtube i love you all and stay blessed